<laughs> what happened? I was right side up and now I'm upside down. Hey everybody, it's Aaron from Juniper and Oaks and I'm upside down. So bear with me a moment while I flip myself right side up. Uh, how can I do that? Not better. Um, no, it's not better. I can look like this. Now you see the street. Um, okay, go to settings and camera and we'll mirror my camera. No, we'll um, do front camera. Uh, and there we go. <laughs> Sorry for those technical difficulties. Oh gracious. You can see me. I'm out here in the sun. It's a beautiful day, so I didn't want to spend the day going live inside. So I'm going live outside. Um, and it's actually quite sunny. So, can you guys hear me okay? Can you uh, see me okay? I'm not upside down now, am I? I don't think so. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday, everybody. It's Aaron from Juniper and Oaks, and I'm excited because we are about halfway through this crochet along. Uh, the Mosaic Flower Garden crochet along. So I think that's where we are, right? One, two, three, four, five. This middle section, right? Um, I wanted to pop in and do a halfway point check-in. I know we went live the first day of the crochet along and then it's just been busy around here. I try not to overpromise things, so I never uh, said I'd go live every week, but I really wanted to. Um, so now here we are, week three and we're going live again. If you are watching, please comment below uh, with a one if you are making this blanket. Comment with a one if you are making this blanket. And if you are uh, not making this blanket, maybe saving the pattern for later, press two. Comment with a two. If you buying the pattern for later, press two. And if you think mosaic crochet is too hard, looks too complicated, uh, like you, maybe you aren't able to participate because it's too advanced for you, you're a beginner, press three. If you think you're too big, you're a beginner for this project, you're not buying the pattern, uh, press three. And I wanna convince you that this is easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, I hope that you hear the birds chirping and that they're not too loud for you. I'm kind of a soft-spoken person, so I'm, I'll try to raise my voice. Um, okay, I know that StreamYard is not very nice for Facebook users, but I think you can click some link somewhere and tell uh, StreamYard and Facebook that you want your name and picture shown. Otherwise you show up like this, Facebook user. But hello, you're halfway through part two. You're trying to catch up. That's okay, slow and steady. So part two, uh, it's the same as part five. Right, you're halfway through this lovely lattice pattern. That's all right. Uh, my crochet alongs, I just kind of put the patterns out there at a sometimes a fast pace. Sometimes it's this pace is too slow. Um, but you just go at your own pace. There's no penalties for um, there's no penalties for being late, and it's fine. We're fine. We're all fine. Uh, it's just crochet. Okay. Uh, those of you watching live, hello, thank you for being here. Uh, if you're watching the replay, you can comment replay. Um, and I'm here, I'm here to answer questions. Uh, I'm here to answer any questions you have about the crochet along, about mosaic crochet, I'll try to help out. I didn't bring my yarn out here to like help out, but. Uh, yes. It is a beautiful day, 74 here in Chicago. Oh, it's Lorraine. That's okay, honey. That's all right. Thank you for watching. It is a beautiful day. I'm not sure what the temperature is. My, can my watch turn off? Anyway, I don't know. It's not showing. 
It's not showing what the temperature is, but it's warm. Like, I'm here. My jacket's rolled up. And I'm hot. I'm hot here in the sun. It's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Oh, gracious. Okay, so I wanted to pop on, chat about the blanket. Um, and then, oh, I was going to do a sneak peek about the next blanket that I'm working on. Um, you know, I get these blankets crocheted up ahead of time, and then I schedule lots of things, uh, like the emails and the pictures that go out. And then, well, so, that, so this cow is kind of happening, but I, my mind is already on the summertime cow. Uh, so I'm working on something else, and I think that you guys might find it very fun. It's going to be a uh, month-long crochet along, and this it'll be a faster pace, this one. I'm not sure. It might be too fast for people. Um, but again, it's just kind of to get people interested in mosaic crochet, get the pattern out there in people's hands, and... Um, and that's what it'll be. So that'll be a summertime. It'll start June. It'll be the whole month of June called Mosaic in a month. I'm going to try to do more videos then, but June honestly is kind of busy. Uh, we'll be going to South Dakota and may or may not be going to Europe with my husband's work. So uh, it's hard to know how many, how much videos we're going to be in. I'm going to be doing for that, but it's going to be ge geometric theme. So think like uh, the lattice pattern. Uh, gonna be a lot of that. Linda! Oh my goodness, she says this is my first mosaic blanket and you are the best teacher. That's lovely. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. I do know that like some of my videos are a bit outdated and they were like from my like I have newborn babies. I'm gonna make things work. I'm going to do it like when it's quiet in the house like so my kids are napping so that means my voice is extra quiet. Um and the lighting is anyway so i know a lot of my tutorials need to be updated and um match more of my professional state but thank you so much for saying that i'm the best teacher i do my best to help y'all um yeah so i'm traveling to south dakota this summer i'll be i'll span the state um i was born and raised in rapid city south dakota and so my parents still live there my sister lives there and then my husband's family lives in Kadoka, South Dakota. He was born and raised there. And then we have family also in Sioux Falls. So we'll be all over the place. Yep. Um, there's a lot of dogs in the neighborhood. You hear those dogs? Okay. Um, by now in this mosaic blanket, uh, if, unless you're first starting out, Hopefully you don't have any questions. I think the question that I get asked a lot um, and that I see a lot is what do we do with our ends? So keep the ends, uh, just hanging, hanging, dangling out. The ends, we'll, we'll take care of those at the end. Um, yeah, we'll take care of those ends at the end of, the ends at the end, at the end of the cow. Um, I have a video on doing twisted fringe. Um, and then I'll have a video on how to do the simple envelope border. I think the video will be like, it'll be just a plain border. And really for this, all I did was just change colors every row. Easy peasy. Um, so just save your ends for the end. Save your ends for the end. I still get, you know, chopped up over that. Um, let me, I'm gonna go run inside real quick. And I'm gonna grab the blanket that I'm working on this summer. Or this summer. Cute yarn bag. Isn't this cute? I got this at a local yarn store in uh, East Tennessee. Clinch River, I think it was. Um, this was for the Great Tennessee Yarn Tour last year. I bought it there. And somebody local makes these. Tammy's hand. Tammy's homesteading crafts. She made these. So I like this pocket in the front, so I know what project is actually in there. And she's got lots of fun um, fabrics. Like, you know, sheep or cats or whatever. Lots of different kinds. But I liked, I liked the knit texture. Okay. So, look. I have a rainbow blanket. 
I'm making, this is the summertime one, a little sneak peek. Geometric patterns and the colors I chose are rainbow, um, just for something summery and bright. And uh, it'll kind of help highlight the sections of the blanket so people kind of know who's is who's. Um, so we'll go like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then back again, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, whatever the back <laughs> rainbow is backwards. Um, so this is going to be a collaborative cow, which means uh, that different designers designed the, each of the sections. So I did this first one. Um, all each section will be like 20 to 30 rows. Um, so this one's kind of skinny compared to this one. But this is mine. This is um, Ness Croft, Vanessa Croft um, crochet. She's gonna she's designed this one, I think. Ooh, I hope I'm not wrong. And then uh, this yellow one is Remington Lane Crochet. Jamie, she's designing this trapezoid one. Um, so I need to get this crocheted up. I should really get it to test her, shouldn't I? I should um, put the written instructions out there for people to test. Um, something really fun is I only started crocheting Jamie's section last night, but I got to meet Jamie from Remington Lane Crochet in person. We were in Colorado together for the Crochet Business Summit. So I got to meet Jamie. She's a dear, she's a doll. It was so lovely chatting with her. Um, and then I got to meet so many fun people at the Crochet Business Summit. Um, I could like name people, but then I'd feel like I'm leaving people out. Um, but who else is in the blanket? Cal, that was there. Um, Melanie from um, Simply Melanie Jane. I met her before she came to East Tennessee and I met her um, for lunch, brunch. Uh, so those are the people who were at the summit who were a part of this cow, but it's like so many people. Pam Grice, which I already met her previously. Um, Michelle from Two Brothers Blankets, she does garments. Helen from Sunflower Cottage Crochet, we've met before. Um, but it was lovely spending time with her again. Um, who else? Elise Rose Crochet. She's a like big fancy YouTuber. She was there. Um, we're in Mastermind together. So um, anyway, it's just lovely to meet in person. She's so down to earth and just, she's just a real pe person, right? You think, oh, she's got all these like YouTube followers. She's going to be all like hoity-toity. But no, she's just a person, right? Um, Betty McNitt, she's the one who's designed the six day star blanket, six day kid blanket. I love her. Uh, we sat next to each other all the time and she's, she's fair, just very good about like, you know, sometimes we're like getting stressed out about stuff and she's like, just move your body, just breathe. We can do it. Um, Katie from Hooked by Katie. She does those like dragon amigurumi dolls. She's fabulous. See, I'm going to name... There's like 50 people that are there, so I'm gonna forget people. <laughs> Susie, Ruthie, um, Nikki from Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Uh, Alyssa Littlejohn, Alicia Littlejohn. Uh, she's another great YouTuber, she was there. Anyway, fabulous time. I've probably forgotten too many people. Lindsay, so. I think my computer just died, but am I still here? I think my computer got too hot out here in the sun. Oh, bummer. Um, but I think I'm still going live. Let's see. I just can't see the chat. Uh, comments? Yeah, okay. So I can't really see your comments, but I'm still here and I'm live and I'm going to go off in a little bit. I think my computer... Just got roasty toasty here in the sunshine. Oh, it is hot. Okay. Um, but, so what I wanted to say about the Crochet Business Summit, how did I get onto that? Um, oh, I met some designers from there and they are really lovely. And I was wanting to do like a YouTube with them, like record something for later, like, hey, like you designed this section and we're here. Anyway, it was just too busy, so we couldn't get it done. But, um, I learned so much at the summit. So if you are a crochet business owner or you want to be a crochet business owner, 
um, or fiber arts business owner, something like that, um, definitely, if you haven't already, you can buy the virtual ticket, buy the replays, and I think it's worth it. Like, just uh, Mike Michalowicz's session alone was worth the money, um, but there's so many. Like, there was, ew, it's like a hornet or something. Killer, killer wasp. Um, there were uh, two keynote speakers, which were phenomenal. One about trademark law and one about um, profit first. Then each day, for two days, there was three breakout sessions. So with three fabulous speakers that I went to. But each of those breakout sessions actually had like three different speakers. So, um, so there's like nine sessions. And I didn't get it watch everything yet because I was, you know, could only be in one place at one, at one time. So I'm definitely going to use the replays to learn excellent things. Cameron from Cameron's Cute Creations, uh, she did a thing on Instagram that I'm going to watch. Um, Hortense from Knitting with Chopsticks. That's not how you say your name, I found out, but Hortense. Anyway, I can't say it. Sorry, honey. Um, she did an excellent session. Um, so there's other ones that I just really want to watch. Anyway, you can still buy the tickets for the replays, um, and I've linked that at like the bottom of the description. And that's an affiliate link, so I earn a little bit of commission. But it's worth it. Worth your money. Um, anyway, I'm going to see if I can, one more time, if I can see any comments. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, it's Brat's mom again. Hello, she can see me and hear me. Hooray. Um, good. If there's any more questions, definitely comment below and I will try to go back and see what people are having troubles with. But I want to say I appreciate you guys in the Facebook group because I know that uh, last week at the summit I was busy and was not into, like, super busy all day. And then in the evenings I didn't go on my computer and, um, like, chat with you all, so I'm sorry about that. But I appreciate those who answered the questions for me if someone had a question. By the time I was able to look at the, you know, the message, someone had already commented the answer. And that is awesome. And I love the crochet community that way. You guys are the best. And that is why I'm going to be offering, like, this cow as um, free on the blog, crochet along. And then I'm also working on other ways to reward you guys because you are the best. And I appreciate you. So, hard. Um, then I see something, like, this is how I do a heart, but I like that, or do people make hearts that way? I don't know, something about Gen Z doing hearts differently than we do. Okay. If uh, anybody has any suggestions on how to improve my cows, you can message me and I will uh, take that because I know this one I think is a beautiful blanket. I love this pattern. I kind of launched it without, you know, I, I released the pattern without really um, being fully present physically or mentally. Um, so it wasn't my best work as far as community cow being present with you guys. Wish I could have done that. Um, had my, my gallbladder taken out, got COVID. Then I was like, ah, it's the first day of spring. I want to release the blanket. Uh, so I'm sorry that I wasn't fully here. Um, I feel like now it's April middle of April, springtime. Oh, I've come out of all that. Refocus my brain by going to Crochet Business Summit. And I'll be here for you guys. So just let me know if you have any suggestions. There was a car that just zoomed by. But yeah, but they're going like 40 miles an hour. I live in a residential. It's 20 miles an hour here. Um, I usually yell at people and my kids are at daycare today, so otherwise I would just go with them because my, there's no sidewalk. So my kids are like out in the street and then people come zooming. Ugh. Ugh. Heart attack. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Comments. Brad's mom. Pew. Good to see you again. Oh, ooh, yeah, this would be a good one for a temperature blanket. I could design a temperature blanket. That's great. Levain. Okay, 
all right, you guys, you're the best. I will see you around. Um, <laughs> yeah, you heard the word Becker and the birds. Not ye old crochet. Oh, see, people are just now commenting galore, and I'm about to hop off, but you guys are great. Oh, I want to say, because I know some of you have been asking and telling me to use this yarn, but this yarn I used is, um, see, I don't even know the name of it. Uh, it's Stylecraft. Special Stylecraft DK or whatever from Lovecrafts. Um, so it's DK weight. It's the Stylecraft double knit. Um, it's so soft. I've never used it before, but I'm loving it. I love it, love it, love it. So you guys will love it. Um, anyway, it's just rainbow colors. You, you can make yours rainbow or not. I think my tension changed. <laughs> like this is definitely softer than this, but I suppose this has more double crochets than this too. So anyway, I'm just talking up storm. I'm gonna head out. Uh, yeah, Stylecraft Special DK. There you go. Uh, uh, thank you. So, boo. I'm gonna go. Um, I've got a lot to do, and we'll see if I get it all done. Um, I need to do like a few action steps from last week from the business summit. My father in law, when we were gone, he when I was gone, he put in a big cabinet. At the end of my hallway, there was like just some empty space. So I said, hey, could you build a cabinet here? And he did. So now I need to move all the medicines over there. And I don't know if towels go, I'm not sure. I just need to come up with a plan. And then my friend, Sunny, who owns a boutique um, artisan soap shop um, online on Etsy and markets and stuff. She just bought a storefront. So I need to go help her move. <laughs> so I'm gonna, uh, sign off. You guys are the best. If you guys are just now joining the cow, there's links and everything below. Um, if you don't know how to do mosaic crochet, the link is below. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel or to my Facebook or wherever you're watching this. Okay. Bye.